Hi there, guys. Welcome along back to Fan Cams. We've got Dave once again on the line. Uh, Dave, 1-1 one, one tonight down at Luton. I mean, a better performance than Saturday, but uh, I've just said to other lads as well, it seemed to be the fight were there, the quality weren't, was it? I think you've hit the nail right on the head there. Yeah. It's, um, and every, anything could have been better than Saturday. And at times in this match, we huffed and puffed. Um, we tried, but as you said, the, we just lacked that quality. Mm. I mean, it's the finishing, isn't it, tonight, what we're, what we're complaining about. You, the key players who we look at, Woodrow's been called out on a couple of uh, interviews that I've done tonight. Uh, been poor, not, not doing enough for us when we really need him. What do you think of that? He was just in and out of the game when he Woodrow. He was... Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, he had a few chances early on. He just, he just didn't connect with them. He had the one that were, were saved at the keeper's right. Mm. All right, but the other one that uh, I think it took a deflection off from the defenders, and it, he just looks low on confidence, to, to be honest. And we've said we said he needs a goal. If he need, if he gets that goal, he does, yeah. it, it might spur him on to put in a better shift, a better performance. I think it will, yeah. But sadly, I think it's too late now for that. I just I think tonight was the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, I've said that to a couple of other lads as well. If they feel like it could be final nail in the coffin, I mean, neither side. Will, I, I I assume Luton will feel the same tonight, but. Um, a point want enough in this, uh, but oh, I just don't know. I feel so. I shouldn't be because I mean, there's still games left. But again, we've got to rely on tomorrow's results, Middlesbrough. You know, what I mean, if they win, that 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 could put us in big big trouble. I don't think we'd be able to pick ourselves up for it. But I've said to another as well to some other lads. Be typical Barnsley. These teams that we the, these teams around us, what we think feel like we should be putting in performance, should be putting in and trying to get three points. And but we'll do it against the bigger teams who are up there. The typical us. We could do. I, I to be honest, you just know it what you're going to get. It's like, yeah, it's like a lucky dip there when the team comes out and then when the performance is put in. It's you know you just put your hands in. And either you get a bad performance, you get a mm. lukewarm performance, or you get a really crap performance, and you just you just don't know what you're going to get. Mm. I mean, t tonight, I can't, fault, I can't fault effort. It's like I said, I just think that it was just missing that final bit, that final bit of quality, which is difference in this league as to where the top half is and where the bottom half is. And the finishing that I saw tonight, Chaplin's finishing, Brown's finishing, that's, again, you're not just, you can't just go on all defence, but we've had chances tonight and we just couldn't take them. And that's we why we know where we are as well. We just look too slow in the build-up and... Yeah. You know, there's there's no flow in football, and it just seems to be stop, start, stop, start. And there was so many backward passes there on the halfway line. Mm. You know, they just lose all momentum, and you know we do like that creativity. And then when we do get a ball into the box, there's more chance, more often than not, there's nobody there to get on the end of it. We need, yeah. you know, a, we need a fox in the box to pounce on those and put them away. They were a really poor team tonight, Luton. Yeah. And if we can't beat teams like that, then well, you no, know, we got no, we got no right to be in this league, really. That's that's exactly that. That's exactly right. That I mean, towards end, I think with Styles will put a ball across. Uh, yeah. Towards the end, at, at one one, and I mean, you, you're dying out for a strike. Like, it's crying out for a, a player on end of that in it. And the, again, typical Barnes, yeah. and there's never nobody on end of them either. Well, he's he's made them substitutions too late, and he's Struber. He's, yeah. He should have done that a lot earlier. It obviously wasn't working. And it, since the substitutions, especially after the equaliser, I'm sort of like moved up on the sofa from being laid back to being on the edge of it and the amount of oohs and ahs in the last few minutes and heads in hands, it was like, why can't you have been doing this for the past well, the past 90 minutes or even the past 45 minutes? Yeah, half time, yeah. We went in at half time and I thought we were unlucky to be behind. I thought, come out in the second half and you know, carry on where we left off and we should be all right, but we didn't, we we, didn't we, seem to do yeah. anything. Yeah, we didn't. And I've said to lads. I said. I think I said to Luke. Maybe if we'd have got, if we'd have got that equaliser in first half, we might have gone on to win that game. First half, I, I, I don't think we wanted half time, did we? I think that were a big factor. No. We didn't mm. want half time. Luton wanted half time. I think half time pretty much killed us, really. And then we started playing again towards last ten minutes when ultimately it was too late. Yeah, we got the equaliser, but we needed more than that, like we've touched on. There was no urgency until, you know, until those last substitutions, mm. apart from Chaplin. I mean, Chaplin was, you know, he was all over the shop today. And you could see, I really felt for him at the end of the game because he put in a, he put in a decent shift today, Chaplin. You could see the way he was getting fired up with certain decisions that were going either his way and, you know, Luton was sort of blocking him. Yeah, yeah. And they, to be fair, they, did, they really did kill that game in the second half. 
you know, when we were getting free kicks, they were stopping us taking them. They were kicking the ball away. They were, you know, um, was it Bree that kept it? Was it, was it Bree and Chaplin when they had a bit of a to do? Or it Berry, Luke Berry. Was it Berry, was it? I, I can't, I can't remember. I know Luke Berry was one who knocked the ball out of his hand when he was about to take a quick throw in. And there was that. And I, I, th I thought it was Bree that was on the floor. There was, they get the free kick. Might have been Bree. Might Chaplin have been Bree. Chaplin was trying to get up and he wouldn't let him get up. Yeah, yeah. And, it was just slowing the game down to take the momentum off us and you know, it works in their favour. It did, it did. I mean, what do you feel now? Do you feel like that could be it for us or do you still have a little bit of grain of hope in, in there that it could be possible? There's always the grain of hope, but it's it's a very small grain in a, in a very big desert. And, yeah, you know, to be honest, I, I can't see us doing it now. Mm. I, I can honestly see us going down next Thursday against well, Leeds, Leeds and Leeds sure. going up. And it's going to be the worst ever. Mm, I mean, luckily there'll be no fans there, like, but it's still not going to be good on social media platforms or all no. like that. Um, yeah, it's. It, I mean, it, we don't want to lose hope, but again, it, it is hard because we, we we bigged us up for this game. We needed. We knew we needed to get not just three in this one, but three on Saturday as well. You never know if results go and we pick up three on Saturday, but it's ifs in it. It's ifs. I mean, we're saying now only a point. We, we we've run out of games and. I don't know, mate. I don't know anymore, to be honest. <laughs> I just... it's, it's the championship, though, and it? it's the championship. Yeah. Anything can still happen. You... We've, well, yeah. let's, we've got to think of it that way. I mean, anything can happen. But like I, like we've said to other lads, three tough games coming up. But uh, we'll take them as they come. But yeah, not not too confident at the minute. Well, Brentford's only just snuck past Charlton's, mate, didn't they? Was it two one? I think the final. So what? Yeah, Pinnock scored as well, didn't he? Late goal, yeah. Good so old, yeah, good old Ethan rescuing us, I suppose, a little bit. But we've got we should be doing it to sends, as mate. We say it all the time. We we got to can't, it, can't looking at other results all the time. I've, James says it to me all the time. He says I'm fed up of relying on other teams all the time, and he's right because end of the day we should be doing our business on pitch, and we we haven't done it once again. Um, exactly. Exactly. Compared to last Tuesday, I mean, listen, I can't knock performance tonight, but the the quality there, we had chances, and it's a big reason. It, we know defending's been bad all season, and we know that's one of the reasons why we are where we are. But you think at chances in games sometimes, that's that's ultimately the big difference. And again, we, tonight we need, to the, we need to keep the ball on the deck a little bit more as well. We were pumping the ball up in the air, and we, we, any of, any of the balls that were coming up, their defenders were just knocking back. Yeah. We weren't anything in the air, nothing. Yeah. I know. Well, we saw us big striker in last summer, didn't we? So, and we yeah. and we got, got constantly trying to put ball in the box. I've got to give a shout out to Ritzmeyer today, though. As much as he's been under a lot of stick, I thought he's had his best game for us tonight. I've said that to a few other lads. I think tonight he did well. I think he was game ball. He was putting some killer balls in the box. But the problem is, we haven't got nobody big enough or good enough in air mm -hmm. to be able to either head, that, head them in or bring them down. And it was a big improvement for him. Yeah, I, I, I give him that. I was I, I was a bit downhearted when I saw his name on the team sheet. But yeah, you know, I, I think Struber's Someone said to uh, Struber said to him, you know, go out there and prove a point, prove that you're good enough. And I think he's 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 got looked into that, and he's he's put in a much better shift today than he has done for his in other games. Yeah, and like you say, it's just nothing on the end of it to show the just rewards that he he probably deserved from that. Yeah. Uh, all right then, Dave. Well, thank you for coming on, mate. And I'll speak to you. Uh, I'll speak to you over over Facebook and that, and uh, let you know for uh, for um, Saturday's game. Obviously, I'm sure we'll do a phone call, uh, Zoom call after that one. Uh, massive game, like we said, another massive one. But it could be the the last one of hope. We shall see. So, we keep saying that, doing the last one of hope. It's always the last one of hope. And it then is, yeah. It's one more, one more, one more. <laughs> I think this one will be, though. I think it's, yeah. it will be. It will be, especially if results don't go as way tomorrow. Uh, all right, then, mate. Well, pleasure to speak to you, and uh, I'll speak to you later on. All right, mate. Take it easy. Same to you, mate. Ta-ra. Bye, mate. Bye. Bye. Bye.